Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amun Shaktivel, and in this video, we are going to see about git init command. Again, we are not going to do the command as I already mentioned. We are going to use IntelliJ for this, but we need to understand what it, git init does, right? Um, without uh, before going here, uh, we also need to make sure uh, that these are all the prerequisites that should be already there. For example, in the first video, I have covered how to create a GitHub account. Uh, it is completely free. You can create your own account and you also need to have Git installed in your machine. If you are using Mac, it, by default, this comes installed. But if you don't have it, if you are having Windows or Linux, you can install this very quickly. Again, I will leave the links to install this in the, dis uh, in the description of this particular video. So you can download from there. Again, we are going to use IntelliJ. This is, this is optional for using Git. But in our course, this is going to be mandatory because we are not going to use any sort of commands and we are going to leverage IntelliJ, all right? So, so please have these three installed. Um, you know, I will leave link to all of these three uh, in the description, okay? Uh, good. So, uh, you know, git init, what is this command, right? So let's say if you have a new project, you want to use this project as a git project, right? You want to maintain versioning. By default, let's say you have a file, Right, it will not have a versioning itself, right? So it if it gets removed, let's say if you alter something and then you saved it, you cannot go back to the previous version, and it is unversioned, un, uh, you know, unversioned file. You cannot version it. Let's say we want to convert some unversioned files or file to versioned file or files, then you you have to first do the git init command. Let's try to do that, right? Let's go to IntelliJ. Let's try to create a new project. And this time I want to create a project for my learnings. So I will use git learnings. Um, and it's, it's already there. Uh, let's, let's use git learning. And let's, let it be a, a simple Java Maven project or what, whatever. You can also create an empty project. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, maybe I, for simplicity reasons, I'll do this. Uh, git learning. Right? And See, it is asking create a Git repository here, which means it will do Git init. Okay, but for now, let's not do that. Uh, let's go create it in a new window. So if you notice, there is a file here, a uh, folder here, Git learning, and there is no, so this dot idea folder is for IntelliJ. You don't have to worry about it. This folder is basically empty here, right? Uh, so I want to enable version controlling here, and I want to use Git. And that's when you have to go here, on the top menu, there is VCS. If you notice, enable version control integration. As I mentioned, this is an unversioned project and I want to enable the version control here, right? Or you can also do create Git repository. But let's let's go via this menu, enable version control system. And it says for this project, yes. And what kind of versioning control you want? I want to use Git, obviously, uh, for this tutorial. And uh, let's say click on OK. And what happens quickly is it created a .git folder with all these fol uh, folders, right? We will come back and see uh, what are these information. Uh, but for now, just understand this got .git folder is, is necessary or mandatory if you want to push your code to uh, GitHub or if you want to maintain versionings for all the files in this particular folder, right? Again, this Git folder can sit inside the working copy itself, or it can be separate from the working copy. Uh, but for now, let's not worry about uh, where this resides. For now, just assume this always sits in the in the same folder itself, right? Because we are beginners, so we want to make sure that we understand everything. So, so this creates a .git folder, which means now whatever the files. Let's say I have a file here. Uh, the Java file. Let's create a very simple file for learning purpose. Uh, Me.md and this file, I have something here. I can maintain versioning for this, right? So that's the power of Git. So for now, let's say if you remove this, you saved it. You want to go back to the previous state. You can do all that with the help of Git, right? Good. Now previously it was VCS, but now we changed to Git. Because IntelliJ is smart enough to understand the project that you have opened here is already version controlled by Git. 
and there is no reason for it to give other options now you have all these options here but amazon if i want to type this via command you can obviously go to terminal and then you can type git init right and what if happens if there is a git folder already and you type git init so it will reinitialize the project for now you don't have to really worry about it uh, you can also manually type this command or use this intellij to create the git folder for you right so basically learning is git init okay uh, is is basically git init is going to create a git repository uh, basically that is your dot git folder or it, if, if it is already existing it will reinitialize it two why this is being done if you want to convert your unversioned project into a versioned one uh, then you have to use dot git in it sorry the git init command right instead of command we use intellij but if you want to see what is the command executed under the hood basically intellij executes the command for you you don't have to execute it so you can go here show git log and if you open this console here and then it says all these things here so if you notice git in it so this is the command that it executed uh in order for this repository but we didn't type it ourselves but it it that it done it for us right so you can also know what is command being executed when whenever you execute some operations here right so so if you notice initialize empty git repository uh this is blah 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 and now it created a file and then it added this file to the staging area we will understand what is that but for now git initialization is a process where you create a git repo and it means you are converting your unversioned project to a version of the project this is basically the first step involved uh, you know if you want to use git right for a new project good i'll see you guys in another great video tada bye bye guys bye